Good morning guys, welcome to another vlog. So today we are going to Portland for the day, which I feel like most people do not do because it's a six hour drive from Vancouver. So I'm currently with Eric. Say yeah. hi. We are so tired because yesterday was his housewarming party with Jess. We're just waiting for her right now. Anyway, yesterday was their housewarming party and we didn't sleep until like two or 3 a.m. So we are now on our way. Okay, we got Jess in the car now. Say hi. So our first stop is we are going to Bambi Saigon. It is literally my favorite sandwich place, especially for road trips. I always get it for these guys when we go on road trips. So we're gonna go pick up four right now, one for each of us, and then literally I'm gonna bring one on the plane with me. So that's four. So I'm also gonna get us some Via Coffees for the trip. We are at full charge right now. In 200 meters, turn left onto East 2nd Avenue. So also for this trip, we are taking Eric's Tesla. And the best part is that the first time I was back and test driving his car, he did not have the full autopilot function. We recently caved and got it. I think for an extra $9,200, I think that's what I saw on the Tesla store. Oh yeah, for an extra $9,200 plus 12% tax, because Vancouver, we now have the full autopilot function. Yay! Okay, so we are here at Bambi Saigon. This is on Victoria Street um, and 38th Avenue. So I'm just coming in. I already ordered my order on the phone and I'm just here to pay for it. But this is what it looks like. Yay! I'm so excited. I have secured the first package of goods. Okay, so we just arrived at our first rest stop and we are in kind of the Seattle area and we're just charging up the car. Eric has taken over driving, so I'm done driving and now it's extra, yay! Also, some woman tried hitting us earlier, so that kind of woke a lot of people up. <laughs> and then now here we are. So it's gonna take about 25 minutes to charge fully and then we're gonna be on our way again to Portland and the next charge will just be in Portland. Okay, what the hell, this car is literally, yeah. oh my God. <laughs> it's trying to find Eric right oh now. Oh my God. And it's just driving by itself.
cherry blossom. Okay, so we just parked in downtown Portland and honestly, first impression of Portland is it's actually beautiful. Such an Instagrammable city. I'm just gonna show kind of like buildings like this all over. There's the car and we just paid for parking. I have a coin pouch filled with American coins and I didn't know how to get rid of it. So it was actually perfect because I just literally inserted all my coins um, into the thing. I, I think we inserted maybe like 20 and it still ended up being less than $2. But now we are exploring TJ Maxx. So yeah, I will take you guys along. We're just here right now because we actually are meeting up with two different groups of people. I think we're just all gonna come together, but they're two of our friends. Like I said, one friend lives in Portland, so we're here to visit her. Her name is Natalie and you will meet her later. Actually, you might have already seen her in my Vancouver vlog, but then also um, our other friend whose name I will not name and you will not see him at all in this video. So now we're just at TJ Maxx and honestly, all we want is sanitizer, not even any of these tax-free products. So we have moved our way to Nordstrom and it's so funny because I was looking at these sandals from Steve Madden and I was like, oh my god, they're so cute. But we didn't like the design on the bottom of the shoe. So we went upstairs to the kids section and we found the pair of shoes that I wanted without the weird portion and it's so much cheaper because it's for kids. That's what it looks like. So these all fit us because we have tiny feet and this is even Uggs but kids so it's gonna be like half the price here's Lisa okay so Jess and I just bought a pair of shoes each and it came out to $50 for me for a pair of sandals that would have costed I think like 125 Canadian plus tax but it was $50 USD with no tax and Jess okay sorry <laughs> anyway Jess got Adidas Superstars for $70 USD no tax and what would it have been because we both also bought kid size so that's why it's like extra extra cheap Hey, wave dinner time. We just finished dinner and we are now at Salt and Straw, which apparently is a very famous ice cream shop. So we're just waiting for everybody else, but the line is so long, it just completely loops around. I'm gonna rank this place lower than you And it goes all the way around that. So we'll see. The original plan was actually to go to a strip club because I didn't know this, but apparently Oregon is the capital for strip clubs and stuff. So we'll see. Okay, so we didn't end up going to ice cream because not only was the line super long, but while we were in line, someone reminded us that daylight savings is tonight. And that really put a huge dent on our trip because we had planned it so that I would be at the airport for my flight back to Toronto. So I wouldn't be late but now with losing one hour with daylight savings we needed that hour to drive all the way back to Vancouver from Portland and I think the drive alone um, if no one had to stop or anything I think the drive itself is five hours but um, you know with stops and also since we are doing the supercharging it takes a little bit longer so right now we are at one of the superchargers and just waiting for the car to get charged up but yeah and then I change into glasses because we're about to get ready to go back to Vancouver oh we're so close to or hitting a thousand yeah, I don't think we're gonna hit it. I don't think so. That's okay. Okay, so we are currently at the last charging station in Burlington and we have an hour left of our trip before we get back to Vancouver and I get dropped off. That was actually like a crazy 24 hours. We woke up at six after only sleeping for basically two hours and then drove for six hours to be there for six hours and then drove back for another six hours. But 
overall it was really fun and I'm glad I got to do it with these two. So. Yay! Hey guys, so I am finally at the airport now. It is 5.30 in the morning. I am boarding at around 6 a.m. We actually did really good on time, so I had time to go back to Eric and Jess's to take a quick shower, so I feel a lot better now. And now I'm about to hop on my another six hour flight back to Toronto. I don't know why I did this, but you know what? It was like definitely one for the books. I think it was probably the craziest thing that we've done. I think the three of us really felt Thought that one of us was gonna bail either throughout the week or at some point last night but no one said anything so we're all like okay i guess this is really happening i'm glad i got to see some people that i don't usually see especially living out east it's really nice to catch up with a lot of my friends that are living out west in other news my rash still has not really calmed down yet this is the worst my skin has ever been because if you missed my other vlog i was kind of talking about how my parents were renovating and the air from the renovations was not very good so basically all of that really got to my skin and and now I have rashes everywhere. So, well not everywhere, just really my neck and my face. I am so excited for this flight and I never say that, but only because I am planning to sleep the entire way. I think collectively for the last 48 hours, I might have slept like five hours. I'm just so exhausted and so excited to go to bed. I also can't wait to shower and just lie down and have a proper sleep once I get back. But um, anyway, hope you enjoyed this vlog. This one is shorter because it was literally a one day trip as opposed to my Vancouver vlog, which was more so a week, more or less whatever. Really hope you guys are liking my vlog so far. Like I said, the last time I made a vlog was three years ago. So hopefully I am doing this right and people are finding this entertaining. Anyway, so hope you guys enjoyed this and I will talk to you guys soon. Bye.